delicious chunky chili. I tossed a bunch of chuck roast in seasoned flour. I just seasoned it with salt and pepper. I also seasoned the chunks of chuck roast. Okay, so I'm gonna crank up the heat just a little bit and look at how brown this is, Paige. How beautiful. Can you see into the pot? Yum, yum, yum. Now I'm gonna add all the stuff that turns beef into chili. So two cans of tomato sauce. Most of the time, whenever I make chili, here on Drum and Ranch, I use ground beef, and it's more of a ground beef based hamburger chili. But I love chunky chili. It's almost like stew when you finish it up, but it has all the, not to be confused with that stew. Stew. <laughs> so I've got the beef and tomato sauce in the pan, and I'm gonna add two tablespoons of regular chili powder. And then, for a little spin, Ooh, a tablespoon of ancho chili powder, which is really just unmistakable. I love the flavor of ancho chili powder. And I like combining regular chili powder with ancho. And then, whoop, get the <laughs> tablespoon in there. Tablespoon of cumin. Okay, and then some minced garlic goes in. Look at that, doesn't that look good? And I'll stir it around. And then I've got to add about a cup of water just to help make the chili nice and saucy. My girls grew up hauling hay on this ranch. Would you girls say it's one of your favorite activities or one of your least favorite? Least favorite. <laughs> she gets down there on the least favorite. I never understood why they don't love it because you really just stay in a truck and just haul back and forth. But because you're pulling thousands of pounds of hay. <laughs> That's so true. So I added a cup of water and some salt and pepper. Next thing I'm going to add is a bottle of beer. I just like beer and chili. And I like beer and chili. So dashes of hot sauce because I get nervous if I don't add hot sauce to everything I make. And then the last thing, I'm going to go ahead and add the beans now. And I've got a can each of pinto beans, <laughs> black beans, and kidney beans. And I have them in these little strainers because I poured them out of the cans and I rinsed them and drained them. Do you know that some people don't like beans in their chili? I know, beans and chili is a controversial thing. But I like to add them now. They're gonna get kind of mushy and all mixed in, but that doesn't matter to me. All right, so now all I've gotta do is put the lid on the pot, turn it down to a simmer, and let it cook for three hours. See you back then. Look at this. Can you believe this is what the chili looks like oh, after three hours? Every now and then I checked it and gave it a stir and made sure it wasn't getting too dry. If you feel like it is, you can always just splash in more hot water. It looks perfect. Now I'm gonna actually let it cool before I put it in the fridge, but I know someone here really wants to taste this. Who is it? Paige. Paige is hungry. Her mouth is watering. So look at this, Alex. Now I made some condiments to go with the chili. Chipotle cream, which is nothing more than chipotle peppers, a little bit of adobo sauce, and sour cream. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it right on top, along with a little bit of red onion, and a little bit oh, of yeah. cilantro. I think we should taste it together. I'll oh share. my gosh, I'm so excited. Me too, this looks amazing. Oh. Oh my gosh, that's so good. 